If no one believes me, I've got more evidence. I've got more people. I've done the unmasking series for an entire year now, and many people do not believe his lies anymore. But he has not produced any more evidence or brought forward any more people. Ask HC, did you have sex with Harley? Did you consent with that? Did you have a good time? Did you say various things during that time? Here's the thing you'll learn with women. If a woman gets sexually assaulted or abused or threatened, 99% of the time they will not speak up about it. And if they do, they'll speak up about it once. And if maybe a year goes past, a few goes past, and someone's asked them about it, testify or do a statement, they won't do it. Because women hate having any social awkwardness. They feel embarrassed or ashamed, or they blame themselves, or they don't want any drama. You just, it's just, drama's overwhelming. The drama's overwhelming. So you don't want to get involved as a, as a female. So that's why most rape cases or sexual harassment at work cases never go anywhere because women feel too embarrassed to report it or feel too embarrassed or ashamed to testify in court. So he's telling people to ask Hannah about it while knowing that it's very unlikely that she will talk about it. And you have to remember at the same time he's blackmailing and threatening her behind the scenes so she won't talk about it. Narcissists and sociopaths and those kinds of people are tend to be very driven by power and control. And this, the whole degrading and humiliating behavior tends to be taken kind of to an extreme. It's their way of really showing that they have power and control over other people and, of, and over this situation. And again, the degree that they are doing this kind of behavior also has a lot to do with how sadistic they really are. So if they really enjoy seeing somebody suffer, if they really enjoy seeing that vic their victim in pain, um, then these different ways that they go about degrading and humiliating a person can be, there's a, like anything else, it's a, it's a full spectrum. So it can be kind of mild, like discomfort that the victim's feeling, or it can be really extreme, very painful, very degrading, very humiliating and embarrassing behavior that it can take a victim a long time for them to move past this. Narcissists really do a great job at honing in on what makes that victim tick. And then they kind of just, they just have them. They just know that they have them. And so that's how they get them to really do what they want is by hitting those soft spots of their victim. Now, I'm not going to put that information on the internet yet. I don't feel I have to, but there's a lot more. This is just scratching the surface. So what he's doing here is he's blackmailing Hannah with gaslighting. So he's saying there's a lot more information, but he's not going to put that out just yet. But, you know, ask Hannah about it. She will she will tell you that truth. And then he kind of force her to just go with his story because or else he will make it a lot worse. But it, it's just gaslighting. He has nothing. Gaslighting is a manipulation technique that's designed, it's done obviously by other manipulative people, it tends to be narcissists and antisocials, other kind of cluster B personalities there, um, and cults. And what it is, is it's, it's, a, it's a series of techniques really that are done to get the victim to kind of question their sanity and it's very effective because the victim really does start wondering like man i must be really losing it the modern forms of gaslighting might be somebody that's just flat out denying their behavior it's just gaslighting then the victim just accepts their truth as as reality and they kind of just swallow their concerns and their doubt so as you'll see a little later in this video, uh, Harley's continued blackmailing and gaslighting initially worked and Hannah backed down and just did as he told her because he said that it would stop if she did. But I just, I couldn't let her do that. So I made her stand by the truth. And you can see how much longer that has made this whole process and how it has made the abuse continue for almost two years now. It's like they don't ever think about consequences and they're always kind of shocked when there are consequences, which is, again, it's just kind of funny. I guess it's that sense of entitlement of I should just be able to do whatever I want to do without any, you know, ramifications, without laws and rules, they really feel like just really don't apply to them. So I mentioned a few times that Harley gaslighted and blackmailed Hannah behind the scenes during this time. So let me just prove this to you. Here you can see the kind of messages he sent her, telling her he has screenshots, voice recordings, telling her that she was so loud that night, just pure gaslighting. And here you can see he's threatening to put a recording up online via an anonymous account. Even if everything Harley said was true, this is illegal to record someone without their knowledge. 
And here he's blackmailing her by saying he will put it online. That's even more illegal. And then he's trying to use me against her, saying that, oh, I wouldn't appreciate that and stuff like that. This is just pure blackmailing to make Hannah do as he wants. And then he's just gaslighting, gaslighting, gaslighting. Then he's calling her an idiot, saying she's not his type. And then he's mentioning all these guys and notice how he's keeping it all very vague. You have to remember that Hannah and Harley barely knew each other. So we tried to figure out where he got all these nationalities from. As we know, narcissists like to take a kernel of truth and just surround it with a bunch of lies. And then Hannah remembered that she had appeared in a video where there was an Israeli guy, an American guy and a French guy. And this just demonstrates the level of stalking that he does. And he's trying to throw shit at the wall and just hope that something sticks. And just look how upset he is about the steroids. I'm on steroids now? LOL! They tend to be very worked up about it. I mean, really, really agitated. The thing is, now we know that he was on steroids. It was confirmed by Freely after they broke up, and he even admitted to it himself a couple of months later. And the only reason he admitted to it was because everybody already knew. And then he claims Hannah was all sexed up and ready. Now this is what Hannah was wearing, and Hannah's friends can confirm this. As we know, Hannah was out with her friends that evening. And then he continues to just gaslight her with all this nonsense. And then he's claiming that he sent himself a screenshot to his own email about something Hannah supposedly said. It's weird that we haven't seen this screenshot though. And then after having gaslighted Hannah and blackmailed her and threatened her, saying he would put up all these recordings and shit, he's telling her that she now needs to do a response video and it's time to tell the truth. What he's really saying is that Hannah needs to just repeat his story repeat all the gaslighting and stuff, or else he will do what he has threatened to do. When our abuser is abusing us, they are filling our head full of shit. I mean, really, truly, literally, horse shit. Just bullshit. It's mega, mega bullshit. They are pushing their agenda. They are pushing their lies. You know, this, that, and the other thing about who you are. Narcissists, you know, are never accountable for their behavior because, well, because they don't think they have a problem, but of course, and also it would never work. So in their mind, they're always either the victim or the hero. Somehow, some way, they are somehow a victim um, of circumstance. They're gonna somehow turn that around on you. If they're good at being a narcissist, they're gonna be able to convince other people of that. Um, they might even be, they might even be so good that they convince you of that. That's what's super crazy making is, you know, you, I can talk to a lot of these, these victims and I've heard enough stories where there's a term called gaslighting and it's basically the crazy making manipulation technique that narcissists and other manipulative people use. And it's to get victims to question their sanity. I think a lot of victims, when they come across the term gaslighting and they begin talking to other people and they begin seeing these different forms of gaslighting, it's really just this very intense emotional moment um, and you just break down and just start crying because it's like everything makes sense and you're not crazy. And this is exactly what happened. So let me tell you how I found out about what had happened to Hannah as Harley constantly claims that she was lying to me and stuff. But I knew about this long before Hannah made her video. In fact, I was the one who pressured her to make her video. So what happened was when I met Hannah and in the early stages of our relationship, I quickly noticed that something wasn't right. She struggled with intimacy. So it went to the point where I was like, are you okay? And Hannah was always like, yeah, I'm fine. But I could tell that she wasn't. So I, tr I tried to like pressure her to tell me what, what was going on. And she always got very upset whenever I tried to like ask about this. So after I had like asked about it many times, she finally told me and she told this whole story that she told earlier in this video. And I can't remember exactly what I said, but I said something like, like, this is rape. And she just bursted out crying and she just cried and cried and cried. So it was like this was something she had just kind of suppressed and she, I don't think she fully knew that she had been right. But when I kind of just repeated it, she she kind of realized it there, I think. Like she needed to hear someone else say it to like admit it to herself. So I told Hannah that we should report this, but she was so scared and she just told me that nobody will believe her. And she just didn't want to do it and want to forget it and just move on with her life. And she kind of just made me promise to not make a big deal out of it. 
But like at the time I didn't really know who Harley was. I had just seen him in some freely videos and stuff. So I wanted to look into who this guy is. And one of the first thing, like this was around the time where uh, Jen Felici died. So one of the first thing I discovered was the whole Jen Felici or Jen Journey thing happening. And I just, I could not believe how the vegan community could like just let him get away with this. And then like right after this, he started to accuse other men of of things he had done, like he detailed things that Han had told me. And I couldn't just stand by and watch this, so I wrote this long email to ISIL that I intended to send to him via an anonymous account, where I kind of detailed that Harley was projecting his own uh, crimes onto ISIL, but I didn't mention any names or anything, so... I wrote the email and I asked Hannah if she was comfortable with me sending it. And that's when Hannah said that, oh, he will just think it's a troll that wrote this. And that's when Hannah decided to put her identity to her story. And even though it was Hannah's decision to make her video in the end, it was after I had really shown her how wrong I think it was and how annoyed I was by her just letting this rapist get away with his crimes. And if you think the screenshots I just showed is fake, Here's a video I took of the messages. So as you can see, I went to Harley's profile and went through his photos. Obviously this is a while ago, this is back in 2016, so we have to scroll back to see the same photos. But then I go into the messages, press send message, and look what comes up. The same messages that I just showed. And here you can actually see that Hannah asked him to not contact her again. But as we made perfectly clear already, this guy doesn't take no for an answer. So he just kept sending her messages until she blocked him. But before she did, I took this evidence because we were gonna take him to court. So I wanted to prove this for the judge. Now, if Harley's story was true, why does he believe Hannah has breast implants? Hannah's saying I raped her, this, that, and the other thing. We did this together, we did that. Hannah has implants. What? Like, where the fuck did that come from? Hannah's never had any kind of plastic surgery. So this is another thing that doesn't add up and another thing where he exposes himself. He made a pretty massive mistake by making this claim that is so easily proven wrong. And Hannah could prove it, but as we've seen, Jennifer Felici proved that she had breast cancer and she showed her breast on camera and what did Harley do? He just made up even more lies about her. So if HC wants to continue these allegations that she was raped by me or sexually assaulted by me, then let's put it all out on the table. Now first of all, Hannah didn't make any rape allegations in her initial video. And here you can see Harley, it's Harley that wants to put it all out on the table. And that's what we're doing here. And the only reason he said this was because he knew that Hannah couldn't do that back in 2016. And the only reason she can do it now is because she's been in therapy and she has worked through it and put the shame back where it belongs, on Harley. It's just what marketings have come now. You create lies and slander in the vegan community to sell a vegan ebook that you got help with from me and freely. So here he's trying to take credit for Hannah's work. Hannah wrote her ebook all on her own. The only thing Harley did was to like scroll through it and say, oh, it looks good. And he's projecting again. It's Harley who creates lies and slander to sell ebooks. All your top hitting YouTube videos are the ones I gave you tips on. The conversation gets way off track. And the people you met in Chiang Mai are from the festival that we created. They didn't create the festival. They hijacked it from someone else, a guy called Derek. And let's be real, it's not really a festival. It's a meetup at best.